Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the 25 Days of Linux, the video series in which I'm attempting to make a video every single day for the month of December. I'm not attempting anymore, it's, it's gonna get done. BSBWM today, and more importantly, the fish shell, because the last time we talked about it, I went through, looked through the configuration, and I was uh, fairly impressed with this shell. I think it walks the line in between being super new user friendly, but also not just horribly annoying for people who know what they're doing to use. But I want to maybe stretch it a little bit further, try to create some of my own custom prompts, maybe. Well, what I really want to do is I want to make it a little bit more similar to the Z shell. This is my Z -sh config. I've got a little prompt set up here. It sort of changes the uh, Unicode character character or the icon that it displays every time the prompt runs and uh, displays a little quote. It's not horribly complicated. It's pretty simple. I like it that way. That's what we're going to try to do today to fish. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. Maybe we could start with the easy part first, which would be maybe just setting up this quote, this displays. So the way that this works is uh, it uses an app called Fortune. And if you just run Fortune, all this does is exactly what you would expect it to. It just runs a quote. The only thing that I do differently is I actually pipe in my own uh, custom database. And you can see rather than printing their quotes, it's pulling from a database of custom fortune lines that I created. I made a video about this a while ago. I'll put a card up to it if I remember. It's not a very complicated thing to do, but let's go ahead and try to incorporate this into fish. First thing we need to do is just CD into the config fish and into the functions folder. The way that fish organizes things is a little bit weird, I think, but you can see if we come in here, we do actually have two different files, fish prompt.fish and fish write prompt.fish. And if you were to actually CD or go into those files in a text editor, you can see that they actually are literally just a function that's being run to print the prompt on the left and print the prompt on the right. What we can actually do is do the exact same thing with a fish greeting. So what we need to do is create a new file here. We're going to do touch and it's going to be called fish greeting dot fish. And then we can go ahead and go into that file in uh, whatever text editor you're into. And it's going to be empty. So uh, the only weird thing here is normally when you're in a shell, especially bash, but also in Zeesh, you can sort of just type in a command the same way that you went on the command line. You know, I can see here if I try to do that and then I run fish, uh, it actually doesn't work. And fish, what we have to do, because it's just a little bit different, is uh, we actually have to create a function to make this happen. So let's go back into that fish greeting file. And what we can do is we're just going to do function, go ahead and end the function with end. And then in theory, what we could do in here is just go ahead and try to run for fortune and uh, I don't know we'll see what happens if we go ahead and run fish you can see hey look at that fortune is now running so let's go back into that fish greeting file let's see here let's go ahead and try to pipe in the old custom database so we're going to pull from dot scripts slash quotes slash quotes exit that run fish again and you can see uh well actually it won't be super obvious to you but it's obvious to me that this is pulling from my quotes database rather than the default one that fortune uses Oh, and to all the people that are saying like, dude, you don't have to just keep rerunning fish. You can just reload the config. You are correct. I just don't care. So the last thing that we need to do is we need to go back into that fish shell or that fish greeting file. And uh, we actually need to save this greeting. Fortune sometimes is a little weird with the way that you make changes to the settings and things. I noticed this in the first video a little bit, but sometimes you can like change a setting and it'll sort of temporarily change it, not necessarily like permanently change it. It's kind of weird, but all we really have to do is at the end of this file, we can just type in func save fish greeting, which is what we've called the uh, function up here. And uh, in theory, what that should do is make sure that this is permanently saved or config. Nothing's ever going to happen to it. I mean, we're editing the actual file now, so I don't think it's going to just like disappear, but whatever. Now let's get to the slightly more difficult part, which is the actual prompt. And I will go ahead and say just at the top, my Zeesh config, like I said, it is a little bit more complex. It sort of randomizes the prompt and that's a little bit complex for this video, I think. So really what I'd like to do is just set some colors, a few other things, get a prompt that looks nice, but maybe not one that like necessarily just randomly changes every time it's loaded or something like that. Maybe that could be something for a different video. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing that. But for now, I just want to build my own custom prompt that I'm cool with. I mean, some of their prompts are fine 
fine. I'd almost always just rather build my own. So what we can go ahead and do is we will CD back into config fish and then functions. And if you look here, like I mentioned earlier, we do already have a fish prompt file. The fish write prompt, I'm not really worried about editing right now, but you can edit it the same way that you would the normal fish prompt. It's just going to appear on the right side of the screen rather than left. And if you look right here, actually what it's doing is it's showing us Git information. It's showing us what branch we're on, if there's files that are committed, deleted, whatever else. That's fine. That's probably all I was going to do with that right side prompt anyways, if I was going to do anything with it. So I'm not super concerned with uh, making sure that's done. So what we'll go ahead and do, go ahead and open up the fish prompt dot fish file. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna open up another good old terminal here. And as we make changes, hopefully we'll kind of be able to see them happen. So first thing you see here is we do already have a function. It is already called fish prompt to be on the safe side. I'm not hundred percent sure if you even have to do this, but I'll go ahead and just put func save fish prompt down at the bottom and let's make some changes. So it looks like it's doing a couple of things up here. Uh, the first bit here is it's doing a test to see if we are SSH'd into a machine and is going to like change the color of the prompt if we are. That's cool, I'll leave that there. And then there's one more sort of if statement here that's saying if the user is root, set the color to red. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And then if we go ahead and take a look here at this last little bit, echo in, it's setting a color to red, setting a color to yellow, setting a color to green, and printing out these three sort of power line style arrows. And if we look, that is exactly what's going on right here. I don't like that, so I'm getting rid of it. If we go ahead and save, we could rerun fish. Uh, we've managed to break everything. Oh, you know what? I just deleted the end part of the function. That's probably what the issue was. Try and run fish again. And yeah, you can see now our prompt is much more simple. It's literally just showing us the directory that we're in. If we were to CD into a different directory, it's gonna show us that directory instead. The other thing I'll wanna do is maybe just change the color a little bit. I think it was using sort of like a green and yellow color scheme with Zeesh. Maybe I could do the same thing here. What's getting us that print working directory symbol right there is just this line right here. Echo dash in prompt print working directory and set color blue. So in theory, what we could do maybe is come in here, set the color to yellow, uh, save. And if I try to re reload fish, you can see we're still getting our quote printed out, but now our prompt is yellow. Yeah, basically what it's doing, it looks like, I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out 100% here. This is, like I said, this bit up here, we can ignore that's if we're SSH into a machine and it looks like it's just changing the color of the prompt. So no biggie there. It looks like this is the only actual line that's being printed on the prompt, which, you know, makes sense. That's the only thing that's showing up there. And so what we're doing is we're changing the color to yellow, printing the working directory, and then we have to set the color back to dash O, which I suppose is just sort of like set back to normal. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. I deleted something important. One more thing we need to do here, set color normal. And I think I just accidentally deleted that when I was still leaving stuff. What I, what I could maybe do is just make a copy of this line and I'll say like change the color to green, save. And then if I reload fish, I see into a new directory, it's doing the same thing again. It's just printing out twice. So that's, that's what we want to happen. We just want to change the actual prompt print working directory to a symbol. And unfortunately, when I was messing around with this earlier, the only way that I found to do that, and uh, keep in mind, decent chance I'm doing this wrong, but the only way that I found to do it was to actually just build a totally different function and then loop it into this one. That was the only way that I found to do it and get the colors working properly. You can certainly just type in here like echo and echo out, hey, hello world or some shit like that. That's definitely an option. And in theory, maybe we could even do that here. Like, could I just say like, hello world? I might have actually just saved myself a little bit of time. Uh, there is a chance. Let me just test this real quick. Yes, I definitely did. Okay, never mind. Actually, I'll show you the way I was doing it before. What I ended up doing was I had gone up here, created a whole nother function, and I called it like message or something, and then in the function, and then just inside of that, I had done like echo and echoed out a symbol. And then what I had done is instead of doing the print working directory right here is just pipe in that function. And if we were to exit and take a look, that does work and it does do what I want it to. But Luckily, when you record a video, you get two shots at everything. So if we go back into the fish functions, fish prompt dot fish folder, it looks like that's actually totally not necessary. So what we could do is literally get rid of that right there. We don't actually need anything inside of that function. And then just have this symbol printed at the end. And you know what? Here, let's try something real wacky. Let's copy that and we'll just put it all on one line. Okay, and then right after the prompt print working directory, what I could do is I could try set color green. Exit, reload fish. Nice. 
And we don't need this function up top. We don't need this second line. I'm gonna put maybe a little bit of space right here as padding. And we, we uh, let's also just get rid of this TTY thing because we don't need that either. We'll get this as simple as we can. We might even not need this set color zero line. Let's find out. I don't think we do. Yeah. All right, nice. We got this thing figured out. So this is about as simple as the prompt can get. I think here's how this works. Starting the function, we are calling it fish prompt. And I'm also, I need to go ahead and do that func save thing again. Func save fish prompt, make sure it's permanent. And then what we're doing is we're saying echo out a something. And we are then changing the color to yellow. And we're echoing out this prompt print working directory function, which is a function that's just included in fish. Comes with it, you can pull from it and print it out. Then what we're doing is we're saying set color to green and we're still in the echo command so we're just echoing out this symbol right here and then we set the colors back to normal the way that they normally function ending the function and then the func save fish prompt is just making sure that it's actually saved and permanent so go ahead and do clear and fish and we have a custom freaking fish prompt that wasn't too bad at all so thanks everybody for checking out this video feel free to uh, come back here tomorrow there's going to be at least uh what is this 18 16 17 18 there's going to be at least like videos for the next six days on this channel if you're interested in checking them out but uh, that's going to be it for this one well i'll see you in the next one